Hi, this is Crystal from Epic Vector, and today I'm going to um, show you how to make one stroke different widths so that you have variable widths um, wherever you want them, um, or you know, bigger in some areas and smaller in some areas. And um, in the end, this is what we have with our one stroke where it starts large here, gets a little bit bigger here, and then gets smaller and smaller. Um, you don't have to have it go from large to small. You can actually have it different sizes throughout. So first I started by um, making a quick sketch and then scanning it into my computer. Um, this is the idea I had for um, a brand, a new brand I'm making called Hypnobird. And, um, and then I, you know, drew it out in Affinity Designer here like this. And I liked this, but it really wasn't um, an accurate depiction of any particular bird. Uh, I just kind of did this from my mind. It does look a little bit like a duck to me, so I'm, I'm thinking I might actually use this as sort of a secondary, second logo at some point. But I ended up coming up with this, which looks a little bit more like a um, blue jay. But anyway, so um, I did really like this, and I was actually going to make my logo with this. Um... I don't have the example here, but I, I did actually mock up a, a logo with just this and a Hypnobird underneath. And uh, then I decided, well, you know, what if I want to make some embroidery with it because I'm planning on doing a clothing, you know, some t-shirts. Um, but I might want to get something embroidered. And when you embroider, embroider something, if it's, it's a very thin line like this, it really is going to be hard um, just to even get it embroidered and it's really especially this area in here and it's really just not even going to look very good um, unless you make this this uh, stroke bigger so I decided that and actually as you saw on the end um, that I wanted to invert the colors I, I originally had this all white and then just the thin black line uh, stroke strokes here design here of the bird um, looked you know, just like this. So basically what you do is you, <clears throat> you're going to choose the stroke that you want to work with. So this right here is one stroke and you're going to go over here to the stroke panel and you can see this is going to make it thinner and thicker and you see that's a problem there where the spiral, it spirals in on the eye because then you can't even, you know, it just sort of all runs into each other. So, um, I liked the thickness of this to start with and then what I did was went down to this um, pressure here and um, actually this is what I ended up with so uh, it does start if I reset this save that or just reset it um, and then I go back here you can basically take this And choose one side at a time. There we go. Drag that side down and then wherever you'd like another point here. And then once you do this, <clears throat> you're going to go over to this properties button here and you're going to change this to see um, how you, exactly you like it. So I chose this calligraphy kind of style where it's thinner on the ends and thicker in the middle generally. And you can see that one end is getting thinner, which is actually what I'm after. Now we're going to have to play with the width again a little bit. And now you see I'm getting closer to what I want here. You can go back here and you can even add points if you wanted something a little different you see just you need to play around with this a little bit and um, to find exactly the look that you're looking that you know you're after that you want to achieve so it's pretty straightforward if it's th you know thick to thin uh, because this has a lot to do with it the size variance tool here and you can actually preview it as you do it um, sometimes you're gonna have to go back and fix the width after you do that but basically that's um, it in a nutshell thanks for watching